What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Today, we're going to try to tame a level 140 Parasaur, Parasaur? Parasaur, by myself. So, I'm pretty bad tamer, but I found the spot up here, I thought I might as well see what I can do. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to tame this guy. We're going to make today like a nice relaxing, nice Friday episode. I want to tame a Parasaur, I mean it's going to take me a couple hours to completely tame him as the entire server lags like crazy. Then after we tame this guy, I like to- oh man, can you reach? Oh, they all- do they all aggro on me when they're near? Look at his cute little head just poking up here. So anyway, I just googled this on one of the, uh, like, taming calculator apps, and it said, with a regular crossbow, which is all I have, it's gonna take about 150 arrows. So I'm gonna- I brought a hunt 200, because I'll probably miss about 50 of them, give or take. Um, I'm not the best shot, as you witnessed yesterday in our quest taming video. But- we're doing a lot of taming right now. We're trying to get a bunch of dinosaurs to kind of help us out in the long run. And I've been informed by you guys that Wildcard has changed it. So while you're taming a dinosaur, I guess if it gets stuck in a corner, it runs away like in real life. So I picked this position specifically because of that rock right there. And I was hoping that he would run into that rock and get stuck. Turns out I was completely wrong. Uh, oh, hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? I'm trying to tame my first Parasur. Parasur, how you doing? This is the guy from the Germans there in the Alpha Tribe. Uh, what happened yesterday? I, I wasn't on yesterday. I'm pretty sure this guy raided us yesterday. Like 99% sure he raided us yesterday. Uh, maybe 100% maybe sure this guy did it. And there's a good chance he's going to attack us right now. I don't want to attack him. He's got a really strong bird compared to what I have. really don't want to mess with these guys too much. But, uh, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's not good. We could, uh, we could ally up if you want to be cool. We're just, you know, we're just a peaceful tribe trying to make a living. Taming dinosaurs, selling berries. I think that'll, that'll kind of make him relax a little bit, right? I mean, maybe he has some hard feelings against us if he raided us yesterday and failed. But wait a minute. How could they fail? Oh, man, I wish I could have been on for it. It would have been awesome. Well, I'm glad it was fun. I have no idea what happened, man. <laughs> I just don't want this guy upset. Get back here. Get back here right now, you piece of crap. Look at him. We'll just stay here. He's going to run away and he's going to come back just like last time. So how's it going? How's life? You, just, you know, you just got to get on people's good side. You got to make them. Whoa. Hey there, buddy. That actually scared me. You just got to make people feel good. You got to make them feel good. You got to be nice and polite. And hopefully they won't pick you up with their bird and end up killing you. But I'm pretty sure Germans are like either alpha or trying to be alpha. Who doesn't know that you guys are from YouTube? Uh, yeah. No, none, none of us are from YouTube. Not telling him we're from YouTube. Don't know who told him that. Don't want him to see the inside of our base. Oh, dang it. All right, which one of my tribe members said we were from YouTube? Who said that? Take it back, boys. Take it back. We're not from YouTube. <laughs> that feels like it puts a bigger target on our head. And holy crap, I'm sniping. Oh, don't worry about it, man. You're good. We're, we have no hard feelings. At least I don't. I don't think my tribe does. I, I mean, I don't know. Why is he apologizing? Because I make YouTube videos. Oh, that's such a weird conversation, but I love it. It's cool, man. Thanks, German. Uh, I don't know if they're alpha. I don't know Bob, but he seems he seems cool about it. Seems like a cool dude. Do you, okay, I was gonna say you see me hitting him, right? Is that even the right one anymore? Yeah, he's got like 30 arrows in his mouth. This is a perfect spot to tame a Pariser. Pariser. Be cool, brother. I think that'll do it. Add a little a little American in there for him. Thanks, man. That's really cool of you. He sounds, I mean, I don't know, he sounds genuinely apologetic for raiding us yesterday. I didn't realize he did raid us. I know, I go to bed pretty early, guys. I go to bed at like 11 because I have to get up at like 6 a.m. And I got like a few couple, couple texts, like it was like 11.30 or a couple like Steam messages or something. And the dude was like, hey, we're getting raided. Another guy messaged me. He's like, hey, we're getting raided. No problem, dude. Your English is perfect. A lot, it's a lot better than my German. I know how to say one thing in German and that is Ich von Schul. If you don't know what it means, that's probably good. But, uh... Um, anyway, I go to bed early, so I got a bunch of messages, and I really wish I could have been on to help defend, but I mean, I didn't see any damage. I don't know if we lost anything. Like, honestly, if anything, our base looks better than it did when I left. Um, is he down? Oh, fake out. Jeez. Th I thought he was down, man. Look at all the arrows in his head. That actually kind of, like, makes me, like, physically sick a little bit to look at. I have this weird, like, phobia of... Am I even getting hit markers on him? I can't even tell. Let's get a little jump action up here. I have a phobia of, like, things in nature with holes in it. That's the weirdest thing, right? But, like, you guys have seen those frogs. Like, look it up. Look it up right now. No, wait. Wait till you finish the video. Then look it up. There's, like, a frog out there that literally 
carries its babies in its back and it is the most disgusting thing ever and every time I see it like I feel sick and then I realize when I see like things in nature animals or like plants or something with like holes in it, it like makes me get sick like seeing these arrows in his head reminds me of that creature for some reason it's like the weirdest phobia I don't even know if it's a phobia it's just like a just something that grosses me out dude you guys have I'm sure some of you out there have some like weird things you're afraid of share it in the comments that'd be kind of cool to see and like compare all the weird things because along with that dang it dang it do i have a backup i'm pretty sure i do okay thank goodness should be good along with that weird uh phobia no 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 get back here um i'm afraid of like things in deep water like you look at a picture of like a boat submerged super deep in the water that creeps me out so much like i think that's the creepiest thing ever what's up dude i think he's like telling me i suck or i'm doing something incredibly wrong maybe i don't know i don't know i have no idea what this guy's gonna do right now but I think we're making some good progress. I've shot about 90 arrows into him, and I really haven't missed too many. Um, I haven't missed too many yet. He needs the address to my YouTube channel. No, 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 no. Not going to do that. Oh, I'll have to get it to you in a bit. Uh, I can't remember. It's like a weird string of text. All right, I guess we're going for it. I think it's a weird string of text. Maybe I got the custom URL now. That might be actually my name. But I feel like, you know, if he finds my channel, that's kind of what we try to avoid. Get that bird back here. No, no, come on. He's leaving. He's out of here. We got to go find him. Got to go get my pair, sir. Get out of the water. First thing right now. Get out of there. Come on. Back to land. Oh, there's a little spino over there. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What? Oh, there he is. I was like, I swear if he just went down in the water. What level is that spino? Might be a good tame for later on. Level 85. Okay, that's cool. All right, come on, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come on, boys. Yep, right over here. Come on. There you go. See, you just got to kind of woo them into it. Got to be nice and polite to the animals. They'll listen to you. They'll come back. Except maybe not my guy. I really don't want him to go in the swamp. That's why I tried to tame him because he was over here on nice land. This is the problem with the center, man. It's a great, beautiful map. But there's so much water. It really makes it hard to tame dinos. Like, if you, I don't know. If you could tame him underground. Look at him. I don't know. Maybe I should just go hit him once and get him back. But he's level 140. I don't really want to ruin taming efficiency. Come here, buddy. I'm just going to do it. Oh, it hurts. I don't want I don't know. It hurts to do this. I got to get him back to land though. Come on. Come here, buddy. Come on. Oh, and there's that Spino over there. What was he like? Level 85 by tame next to the Spino. The Spino could kill it. This is going to be like a three hour long tame. All right. I think I piqued his interest a little bit. I just like flew by his head and pooped on him. And I think that he made him go like, oh, what was that? And he's going to come follow me for more of it. Par Parasters eat poop, I think. So, oh my gosh, look at him. He comes on land and then he leaves. This is the most annoying mechanic in the game. Like I wish wild card would remove it. Dinosaurs should not flee like that. Like maybe in real life they'll run away, but it's not realistic that it can swim for 15 minutes like that. This is not a waterborne animal. This is not like a shark. It's not going to be able to swim that long. I mean, look how look at that thing. It's so heavy. You guys ever see elephants swim across the freaking ocean? No, there's a reason. Doesn't make sense. Look at this. Every time he about steps on land, he decides, nope, that's not for me. I've been doing this for like 10 minutes. I've just been going back and forth and trying to get him on land. It's it's it, one thing with game design that's important to think about when you're making a game. If any of you are aspiring game designers out there, I go to a lot of con or I guess I've been to conventions like that because my girlfriend's a game designer. They talk about game mechanics and what makes mechanics fun, what makes them annoying and stupid. And sometimes adding realistic things to your game is not the most fun thing to do. When you're making a game, the goal of the game is to make it a fun game. The goal of the game is to make it enjoyable and even addicting in some cases is what they want to do. So you keep coming back for more. Adding realistic elements into a game does not equate fun gameplay. So like think about it, like if it was really realistic in this game, this animal would not be doing this. It would not be swimming in the water in circles like that. But there's a lot of other things in the game that are realistic yet super, super annoying features in the game that just drive you crazy i don't know if i'm going to be able to get him out of the water because he i mean no matter what i do i've hit him i've tried baiting him out by off the bird all this stuff um i'm going to edit out because i wasn't really talking those things are even if they are potentially realistic even if that, that is something the dinosaur would do maybe it's afraid for its life it just hangs out out here it's not fun gameplay it's not a fun feature it's not a fun um element of the game like no one wants to just float here and hope he goes on land because the ai is so messed up like anyway what i'm saying is when you make a game think about think about realism versus how fun it is like if the game's real but not fun no one's gonna play it if it has a lot of really realistic elements that are annoying people aren't gonna like it either so that was a total bust that was a waste um maybe if he comes back to land we'll get him late wait 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 maybe if i leave him there look at him look at him he's taunting us right now he's like hey i can come on land but i know i won't wait a minute wait a minute i'm zooming in on him <gasps> he comes out he's out he's out this is it this is our moment 
This is a moment that's not even a real song right now. Let's go. No, 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 no. Come back, come back. Maybe if I shoot it, he'll come back. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please stop. That was a perfect hit. Now, you're not low on torpor. You're good, man. You've had like an hour to recuperate. He's gone. Screw. He's gone, man. He's gone. There's just... I'm not dealing with that. We're going to tame a Spino instead. We're going to tame a Spino. It's going to be nice to have a Spino. This looks like a nice little rock. Can he reach us up here? Oh, wait. There's another one. There's someone on that one. Is that an empty naked Spino? 110. I'll take the 85, honestly. I'll take the 85. Don't know that we have the uh, arrows to tame the 110. Look at this little spot right here, just made for Spino Taming, I think. Yes, it is. This is what this was made for. Thank you, guy who developed the map. All right, going for that Spino Tame now. <laughs> I really need, like, an Ascendant Crossbow or, like, freaking those darts. What are they called? Taming darts, whatever those doohickeys are. A really nice crossbow that would help this so much because I probably would have um, had that guy knocked out in the time that it took him to run into the water. I, th I, just, I, I think when he goes in the water... I, he's leaving. He's gone too. He's gone. This is a mess. This is an absolute mess. Maybe the Parasur, Parasur is just gonna walk up on that rock right there and get stuck and we'll have a nice little easy tame. Wait a minute. Go open that little slot. Go open that slot. I got an idea. Watch this. Out of placement range. There it is. Here it is. This is it. This is the play, boys. This is the play. This is the move right here. We got him. Oh, come on. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, oh. I'm getting attacked by Prawns. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Also, whoever painted my armor. Beautiful, beautiful coloration. I'm pretty sure I might be able to get him here. This is the future of taming. Get that out of here. Now, is there a good chance he'll be able to walk out or possibly fall in the water and drown? Yeah, there's a good chance. But at this point, I'm so committed to taming him and so upset that he walked all the way over here. I think this is a fair way to take him down. Now, can the fish? I don't think the Mega Prawns will attack him, will they? I don't know. The headshots do more? It's weird because, nope. They made headshots do more in specific animals. Like, there was, like, a list a while back I saw where only certain animals, like, maybe, like, 15 or so, actually took extra damage from headshots. So that was kind of weird. Someone also told me yesterday, for those of you who suck at the game like me, you wait five seconds between shots. So instead of that, I'm just going to wait about zero seconds because I'm in a hurry. I like to get my tames done real quick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. He no, no, no. Don't get out. Don't get out. He's I don't think he can. This is perfect. I was trying to trap him earlier with these things. They're like massive stone walls, basically. And I thought, how cool would it be if I got him in a corner and could just trap him? He just did it for me. He just did it for me. It was all worth It was all worth the effort, man. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, while we're taming him, hope you guys are doing awesome and having a great day. I've been loving seeing all the comments lately. Because the cool thing is, my channel is now becoming like a... He's down. Oh, is he drowning? Did I just waste my time? Where's your oxygen? I don't think he's drowning. What do these things eat? I've never tamed one of these actually by myself. I'm pretty sure they eat berries. Oxygen. How are we doing? Where is it? Oxygen. 450 out of 450. Oh, oh baby. This is perfect. Pretty sure we, uh, by the way, that Quetzal we tamed yesterday. I might as well. Come on. I don't have any grapple hooks. Oh, come here. Come here, baby. Come here, birdie. I don't have any grapple hooks. There we go. So, uh, that Quetzal we tamed yesterday. Pretty cool Quetzal. Took a long time to tame it. And, uh, unfortunately... Germans killed it while we were taming it and I think that kind of prompted them to raid us because they said hey We're a threat and then Dominion Quetz gave or Dominion gave us a Quetz Dominion is a real alpha tribe on the server and they said hey guys take this Quetz You guys will probably be good to have it whatever. I don't know. They're helping us out for some reason. They're awesome people And do you have any berries 22? I think we'll need a little bit more. What should we do wait? I think stamina is pretty good for these things because you have to like sprint so often with them God oh, get out of here. Don't need you. We're gonna go collect some berries real quick base is looking nice got a vault couple turrets uh, a couple a bunch of things inside um, we need to get that vault secured hopefully tonight we'll take care of that and this weekend might be very possibly the first weekend in a long time that I'm free depends on if I can get my girlfriend to come over and hang out with me um, as a lot of you know my girlfriend and I are in a long distance relationship and uh, we try to see each other whenever we can but we go to different colleges and it's you know it's difficult if you're in a long distance relationship I think you understand a lot of the challenges it has like you love that person but you really don't get to see him that often and Sometimes your significant other, whether you're dating a man or a woman, doesn't really matter. Whoever you're with is like kind of your support, your backbone. So like when you get in a stressful time, like I had the other day working with class, um, you don't have that person with you. So it's kind of difficult. So if you have a long distance relationship, um, you know, there's a lot of challenges that can be had there. But in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. You get to see each other. It makes everything so much better. And then on top of that, 
um, when you're away from each other, like we've been away for almost like six, seven months, not seeing each other once in that time when she was across the world for a couple months studying abroad. And uh, I don't know, those moments kind of make you realize how much you're capable of, like that didn't tear you apart. You didn't literally didn't see each other once for six months. Like I think you'll be okay, you know? It's just, it's a nice thing to think about when you're struggling, trying to not get that croc to attack me over here real quick. Okay, I think we're good. I think maybe, maybe we're good. 20% chance we're good. And let's get our bird nice and close to the ledge. Load him up with some berries. How you doing on the oxygen? Please, please. Oh, baby, what a perfect, what a perfect spot. Now, he does eat berries. Let's see how quick that tame and bar is going. That was two berries, guys. That was two, be three berries now. I just whistled really loud around my pop filter, so that might have blown out your headphones. Oh, man, that's going to take a couple hours. I don't even know how to do this. Um, Well, I guess we could just leave some crap in here, kind of load it up, hope no one takes. We're going to leave this out of here. Um, his consciousness is draining surprisingly quickly compared to the taming bar, so I'm thinking maybe in like a half hour I'm going to have to pop over here, re-narc him up, and this is going to be a pain to tame, man. And I'm stuck, and I'm stuck. Let's go absolutely going to be a pain but i think he's pretty well protected down here and man flyers there's another there's another mechanic that needs to be fixed guys there's another there's another okay got that guy working hopefully someone gets on so we can like take shifts taming that guy but it's what was he a 140 150 is the max level and uh he's gonna be pretty nice for like mining and stuff we can take him up to the top of the cliff put the ankleo on the back and use that little mining glitch um to get all this metal up here and i know the mining glitch isn't exactly still working i just thought of a great idea i just thought of the best idea look at this so our, our idea is to build up this entire mountain right it's a giant winding mountain kind of like that i don't know it makes me think of like a castle in the movie frozen like elsa's castle just like a winding cool little thing whatever that was a weird comparison what if we built i've never used an elevator what if we freaking made an elevator up to this level it will want to unlock it we could just bring the pariser pariser I, I don't i feel like i'm saying that wrong we could just bring it up here and like have elevator lifts drop it off on locations and then just harvest some metal off of its back that'd be awesome or i guess since we're not playing on scorched earth we could use the quetzal and i don't even know why we need a pariser then in that case so i guess that's one thing to consider i don't know that would be a really nice tank we lost our brano our neighbor killed it and uh don't need you to follow me anymore my friend gonna run inside real quick um i think you guys saw a lot of this stuff yesterday in the video something cool that um a couple of the tribe mates were doing is you can pick up these glass foundations since it's s plus you can pick it up um lay there and then put it down on top of you um i guess it's kind of cool people can still see where you are which sucks so it might be smarter for these guys to be logging out under like the actual metal over here that way people can't actually see where they are and then when they're blown into the base so they don't randomly break your square you're underneath they won't kill you I like to make logout boxes a lot, and uh, this kind of defeats the purpose of a logout box, so I think that's pretty awesome. Alright guys, while we're waiting, I figured I'd go ahead and craft a few traps, because I think a lot of you know I'm a big trap guy. I like having traps around the base, because people don't expect it for one, and two, um, not a lot of people use them. Like, no one really uses traps around their base, so I think it'd be cool to have, like, areas of our base that are designated trap areas. Now, right here is probably going to be nice to build in, but I think for now, since I'm pretty sure these can be picked up, I love the armor color, dude. I just love how that looks. That is that is nice looking armor. Um, I'm either going to put some up here or maybe some like... No, I probably want these narcotic traps around my base. That way if someone were to come in, they would get passed out and the turrets would kill them. So I guess i got to find a good place for these. And um, just to let you guys know now, there's like a 0% chance I will be on to show you the end of the Pariser, Pariser, Pariser Tame. Because it's going to take about two hours, three hours maybe, and I just don't want to sit here and wait for that. So I might like get off, go clean my room, do a little homework, whatever I have to do for the day. Um, maybe even record a second video just to release on like a different game or something. So we'll see how that goes. But we'll place a few narcotic traps. So I don't know, right here seems like a cool idea. These trip on your own tribe. Oh, oh, that was weird. Okay, what's it say? Hold E for options, unwire, demolish connected i mean i'm assuming they connect on our own trap so we're gonna just hope that they don't blow up on any one of our people so anyway that's what we got for today gotta tame the rest of the pairs so gotta keep working on upgrading our base but for whatever reason germans decided they don't want to attack us because i make youtube videos which makes absolutely no sense because generally that puts a bigger target on my head hope you guys enjoyed this episode and enjoyed yesterday's um quetzal tame I'm doing a lot of taming trying to get the uh, army under control so we can start doing some massive upgrades soon Anyways, I love you guys more than anything. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I see my analytics. A lot of people, actually more people are watching my videos that aren't subscribed than people that are. So if you're not subscribed, just do it, man. I know you want to. You all want to. So every single one of you, 100%. I want 100% subscribe rate this one. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.